Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. Our family is going to go ahead and enter uh, the church transfer portal. Yeah. You know what? We Obviously, we've been at First Baptist for a long time. And, you know, Pastor Doug was the guy that originally recruited us um, when we moved to town. But with him, you know, rising with his Instagram following and he'd take the assistant job down at Elevation, uh, we're also looking at options. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to say it. I got to do what's best uh, for myself and my family. Obviously, we're at a First Baptist currently. We'd rather not transfer in conference to another First Baptist church in town, but you know, we're looking at all options. That The other First Baptist in town, obviously, they put up great numbers, but Easter and Christmas, we're going to have to compete against each other twice a year. So but we're looking at other options. Obviously, the Woods Church has been, you know, a strong contributor for a long time. They told me as an elder, uh, with my experience and my the numbers I've been putting up, they said I can contribute uh, on the elder board on week one. So that's definitely an option uh, we're looking at. Obviously, Bethel, you know, everybody knows their worship numbers with the hand raised per person that's top 10. That's going to qualify top 10 every single year, just with the energy and emotion that they can stir up from that congregation. Obviously that's hard to compete with. And then you got a sacred community. I mean, they, we submitted our, they looked at our tapes and my wife has the highest, she's been doing the offering for what, three years now, the highest money per row uh, conversion rates in the conference. So they've been obviously looking at her. And then of course, Freedom Church with everything they've been doing with their new pastor, Obviously, a little bit non-denominational, not a lot of accountability over there, but um, you know what? We like what they're doing, and from our family standpoint, I mean, obviously, you know, the numbers my wife can put up as the offering taker. I mean, my son is a redshirt freshman in the youth group, and he's shown flashes on Wednesday night dodgeball. Uh, the youth pastor said that he has shown flashes, especially if he continues to show up on Wednesday night, eat some Oreos and some Code Red. He's really going to bulk up, and uh, you're going to see him improve, and especially a lot of leadership's going to be coming through, uh, you know, come his senior year. And, and my daughter, I mean, what, I mean, the finger paints and, you know, drawing outside the lines, the artwork that she has been bringing home from Sunday school is honestly, uh, it's not, let's just say it's not going up on the fridge currently, but that's only numbers that are going to improve um, over time. Those, she's going to continue to get better, continue to work, show up week after week in Sunday school, and she's going to get better. That's all, that's all there is to it. I mean, there's just so many great churches in town. It's hard for me to stay committed uh, to the pro. I've obviously been telling you guys I've been committed uh, this whole time. I don't want to just pull a Lincoln Riley and just leave in the middle of the night. So I'm here to kind of be honest with you guys. Obviously, uh, the Woods Church, I mean, we did visit there. And if you look at their numbers, their coffee bar, all right, the creamers that they have and the donuts, it's just hard to compete with those offensive numbers. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. Questions. 